All right, ready to get underway. Now, Chris Taylor. Leading off tonight for Cleveland, the second baseman. And a pitch. Chris Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Bounced up the middle. Bogarts with the throw to first. One out in the top of the first. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Batting second. The third baseman. Jose Ramirez. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. The count is one and two. Stays alive. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. So two down now, and here is Nick Castellanos. He was hitless in four at bats yesterday. Castellanos checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. No swing. He held up Carl Dixon with the call there. Slapped foul. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Whips it to first on the run. Out number three. Back in Boston, here's Alex Verdugo. And the pitch. For the Red Sox. The right field. And ball one. Verdugo. The 1-1. One, one. And now the count. 1-2 and two after the swing and the miss. The pitch. Two ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. The center fielder. Andrew. First pitch, and he just misses. Right-hander kicks, deals. Late swing, fouled off. And he deals. Swing and a foul back, that's out of play. Out towards left center, Castellanos under this one. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Rafael Devers up to hit. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And the 1-0. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook not around the ball. It's so frustrating Denver. when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Into center. 
Bogarts retired. And that will end the inning. Back inside Fenway Park, top of the second. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Fran Mil Reyes. The right fielder. Fran Mil. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That one catches the corner for a strike. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. Got him. One away. So in now for Cleveland, Jared Walsh. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. And the right-hander deals. Nope. Second inning here, no score. Swung on, belted. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Jared Walsh blasts one out. His 27th home run of the season. The Guardians strike first. It's one nothing. And now it's Austin Hayes. Batting six, the center fielder. Austin. First offering misses badly for ball one. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. And a 1-1. And that misses off the outside edge. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And a foul ball. Here comes the pitch. Line to left. And that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And that's a two-bagger couple of hits in a row for him here hooked around that pitch on the outside but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely and that takes quick strong wrist to pull that off Brandon Drury to the plate and first offering is fouled off one out and a runner at second and he's down 0 2 as he swings through it that's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. And now it's Dalton Varsho. And Cleveland on top wants it. And that one got a piece of him. Well, he's just glad they got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Dalton makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here in Boston, we head to the bottom of the second. J.D. Martinez JD stands in. For the Red Sox. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Both you and I know how much attention to detail that J.D. Martinez pays. Kind of makes me think of Albert Pujols, who has been called the machine at times during his career. I venture to say you can put J.D. Martinez in that same category, at least the way he approaches his craft. Two and one to J.D. And J.D. gets a piece now, two and two. Two-two down. The punch out there, and one out now. Brad Miller now. The designated hitter. Brad Miller. First offering and it just misses. The 1 0. Swings through that one for strike one. The 1 1. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. That is tough. 
Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. First offering misses the mark. And here it comes. Two balls, no strikes to count. The wind of the pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. The pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Beaver checks the runner. And he's back in safely. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. Look out! And it hit him. It's a scary one when it's riding up above the ladders. Looked to me like he just tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. First and second, two outs. Here's Kike Hernandez. First pitch, not close. Next offering is in for a strike. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. A 1-1. One -one. Pulls that one foul. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-2. Two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Two two. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. And a three two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Left field. Way back there. Turning and looking, and it's gone. Pique Hernandez takes him deep. His 14th of the year, and that gives him a lead. It's 3-1. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Alex Verdugo. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And it's 1-1. One and one. But why to kick the pitch? That's towards center. Hayes makes the catch, and that'll do it. And we're back here at Fenway Park, top half of the third inning. Now it's the second baseman, Chris Taylor. The second baseman. How back to work. A little bit low. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The 1-1. One, one. That one out to right. Verdugo flying after this one. Reaching for it and brings it in. Got to love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. Here's Jose Ramirez. In there, and it's 0-1. Next one off the plate inside. And the count is 1-1. One and one. Next pitch is outside. Righty to the plate. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Man at first with one gone. Here's the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. 
And that's in there for strike one. And the 0-1. There's the strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. Fran that one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. And that's outside. Ramirez off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Next offering is downstairs. 2-2 now. Stays alive. Rudder takes off. Next offering is fouled back. Next one is off the plate. Three and two down. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Over to Dahlbeck. That ends the frame. Back here at Fenway, here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Yeah, the right hander back to work. For the Red Sox. Ball the one, no field. strikes. Andrew McCutcheon. Pitch. There's a strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. Next pitch is outside. Chop back up the middle. One up, one down. Now it's Devers at the point. Now batting. Third baseman. Rafael. Devers. And Devers hits that one. Hayes makes the catch. Two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for no him Four and two. for his team. Shortstop. It's Xander Bogart's Denver. down. He's over one. Bogart. And the what first up? offering is not close. Bogart's who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek what? Jeter. The next offering misses, no. and it's two and oh. Two down, nobody on. Now a check swing, but he held up. Righty delivers. Fouled off left side. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. And here is. J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Reyes settles under it, makes the grab, and the inning is over. Back now at Fenway. Here's a big power threat. Jared Walsh. Leading off with the guardian. The first base. And the pitch. Jared. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And the pitch. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Martinez on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Austin Hayes digs in for the Guardians. The center fielder, Austin. 
That hits the dirt. One and oh. The pitch. Misses off the plate. And that's ball two. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Bogarts with the throw to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Two outs, base is empty. Brandon Drury digs in for the Guardians. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals, and it's even up. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location, just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. And it is two and one. Next offering is down low. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Oh, Two outs, season. runner at first. And now Dalton Varsho. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. Rip to right, base in. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now Ahmed Rosario, the next Ahmed. to hit. First pitch, just misses. Drury on second. Varsho on at first with two down. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And there's a hit. Here comes the runner. Martinez fires it to the plate. It's a line, and he scores. And now they trail by one. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back the within a run. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Dolby takes it to the bag, and that is that. Bottom of the fourth, and now the DH, Brad Miller. Leading off. And he deals. For the Red Sox, the designated hitter. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Miller. Ramirez under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, the but it's so hard to the get on top of as a hitter. Bobby. And now Bobby no, Dahlbeck. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow. It, you know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra now, innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Check swing, no appeal. Two balls, no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. Bounce to the right side, tosses to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Jose Ramirez. And here it comes. Ball one there. Next offering is in for a strike. Light drive. 
And he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Castellanos in the box now. Take strike one. Next pitch is inside. And it's a ball and a strike. And there he goes. Pitch in for a strike. Throw. Save. Runner at second. Nobody out. The one, two. Foul ball, he stays alive. The other way. And a foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. 2-2 two -two now. Stays alive. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. 3 2. Got it! One away here in the fifth. Ron Neal Reyes will hit next. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Real ugly 0 oh, 1 swing right there as a pitcher. Gotta be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance, send him back to the dugout. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. A 1 2. Chopped left side. Over to Dahlbeck, and he's out. And up next for Cleveland, Jared Walsh. Fouled off, he was late. Ramirez on third with two out. Next pitch is downstairs. What do you want? It's a good miss. The pitch. And a count one and two. At the belt and fires. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And now the count filled up three and two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Back to work, 3-2 now. Center field, McCutcheon drifts towards it, and that is the inning. Back here at Fenway, here's the second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. Leading off for the Red Sox. First pitch, and he just misses. And yeah, the righty deals. There's the swing and a miss. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Here comes a pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Next pitch is outside. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And here is Alex Verdugo. Good contact guy, good defender. And first offering is fouled off. 
And the right hander deals. And that one wrapped foul. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I were boots it. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. And stepping in for Boston, Andrew McCutcheon. First offering, and it just misses. Next pitch downstairs, 2 and 0. Oh. Righty to the plate. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. The throw to third. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Devers stands in now and watches strike one. Two on, one out. Tapped in front of the plate. Sends it to Walsh. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. The batter, number two. Good stop. Xander. Bogart. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. When you look at Xander, he has all the tools to anchor a World Series lineup. Yeah, he's one of those rare talents. He's got power at the plate, discipline to go along with it. Oh, and if he gets on, he's got the speed. This guy's a great combo, and he's a... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Michael Waka takes over on the mound, and he'll work on holding this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. All set for the top of the sixth. Stepping up for the Guardians, Austin Hayes. For the Guardian, the center field. Line drive, caught. Next is the designated hitter, Brandon Drury. Now batting, designated hitter, Brandon. Drake. In there, and it's 0-1. And the 0-1. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. That big curve inside's a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. Looks like a fastball out of hand, and then just drops over that inside part of the plate. Going oh, two now. Went too far that time. It's one and two. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Sends it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Dalton Varsha. Next offering is down low. And it's one and oh. Fouled off to the right. The wind of the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Chases the changeup in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. So they turn things over to the righty, Zach Plesak. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 34, Zach Plesak. Welcome back. Here is J.D. Martinez. We want to kick the pitch. Good eye right there. Talking about Martinez, he's one of the best fastball hitters in the game. Yeah, some guys are concerned about velocity, but he embraces it. Kicks and fires. 
And then misses upstairs, now 3-0. and oh. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen now into this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Smoked on the ground a second, and there's a hit. And aboard on the leadoff single. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now here is Brad Miller. First pitch, just misses. Left-hand batter waits. Martinez on at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Three down on strikes. And there's one down. And here's the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. A strikeout and a walk. Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. That misses, and now it's even one and one. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it, still try to get that ground ball double play. And now the count is even. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Next pitch misses inside. Full count, three and two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and now walked batting. the hitter. Get Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Christian Vasquez. First offering, misses the mark. Right-handed reliever. There's the strike. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Next one is off the play, and the count is two and two. Next offering is foul back. The 2-2. Two -two. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. Runners hold tight, but it's a full count now. Lifted in the air, right center field. Reyes settles underneath it, calls it in, and there's two away. Oh, the throw is wild. So first and second with two outs. Now it's the second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. First offer misses badly for ball one. And now it's even up. First and second, two down. And the pitch is in for a strike. And that is strike two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now it's filled up. And a pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. Oh. 
And a pitch. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Next pitch is inside, and the count one and two. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two outs, bases are full. To third, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. To first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Base is full, two gone. Now the number two hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. And a foul ball. He'll walk. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. And a pitch. In the air, foul off first. Brings it in for the third out. Top of inning number seven. So in now for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. Now a slow roller to second. Hernandez handles the throw to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's a speed threat. Chris Taylor for the fourth time tonight. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is downstairs. Line of the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. And he deals. Line drive and that's a base hitter to right. Now back. Next to hit, Jose Ramirez. He has... As they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that back. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. This one high in the air to left center. Martinez on his way over. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two away. Man at first, Nick Castellanos at the plate oh, now. Good power. Yeah. Not great in the OBP department. In there for strike one. Yo, there goes the runner. Ball outside. Throw to second. Great jump. There's a 1-1. One -one. Just off the outside edge. Line drive and a base hit. Coming around third is Taylor. He will score. And now just a two-run deficit. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it. But still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball game. Reyes in the box now. No balls in a strike. Castellanos leads off first with two down to the inning. Stays alive.
The 0-2. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. For the traditional seventh inning stretch. Bottom of the seventh. Devers now. Please back to work. The third baseman. To the right side. Taylor rips it to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Shortstop. Sander. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And now the 0 1. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the at bat alive. Oh. Next offering upstairs. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Right into the plate. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Xander Bogart's a towering home run to left field. His 14th of the year. It's 6-3. Here's J.D. Martinez. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And that's in there for strike one. And it's even up. The pitch. And that's down and away. The 2 1. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. The pitch. And that's ball four. And the batter now, Brad Miller. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Left-hand hitter waits. Jack Swing went around. And a count one and one. And this is inside. Two on. The two on is high. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues no, with control. Manuel Rodriguez gets handed the rock out of the pen. This is his first appearance of the season. So one out with two aboard. Next to hit, Bobby Dahlbeck. He's over one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. High in the air, out to Re Reyes. Under it. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. So here's Christian Vasquez. Now that the catcher. Christian. Swing and a ground ball out to short. They take the force out, and that is the inning. New pitcher for the Red Sox, John Schreiber. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. John Schreiber. Back here in Boston, we go to the eighth. Stepping up for the Guardians, Jared Walsh. The pitch. And a good eye there. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. One-one now. And it's fouled away.
And the right hander deals. Pitch misses there. And the count's even at two. That's inside. Three and two now. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they inch closer. It's 6-4. And up next for Cleveland, Austin Hayes. One for three. Big stock center field. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage yeah, spot right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Drury in the box now. Take strike one. And that one fouled off with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The tying run at the plate. One ball, two strikes, Cal. Stays alive. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. And here's the catcher, Dalton Barsho. One for two. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. Righty delivers. In the dirt. Rudder stays where he is, but the count moves to two and oh. On the ground to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Roll to the first, and he's back in there. Hayes leads off first with one away. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Two on, one out. Now it's the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And that one sliced foul. So the tying run is second. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Next pitch has popped up. Brings it in. And there are two down. Oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Now Matt Barnes takes over. Comes in with runners at second and third. Chris Taylor down. In there, and it's 0-1. Two outs, two in scored position. And that one goes straight to the backstop. But no advance from the runners. And a 1-1. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves. And sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. And there's a foul ball. And a 1-2 again. That one missing inside. Second and third. Two down. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Smash to the left side. And it's just foul. That is close. And 
and a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. For the Red Sox. Here comes the pitch. second baseman. Inside, just missed. The pitch. Popped up. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. And now the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. Up the middle, Taylor over to pick it up. And Verdugo is set down. Two outs, base is empty. Joe stepping in for Boston. Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. First pitch, not close. Kicks and fires. That clips the corner. It's been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Garrett Whitlock. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. New inning getting started. Now it's the power speed combo. Jose Ramirez. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Next offering is in for a strike. 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And he's already singled in this game. And the first offering is not close. He's a guy with a big time fastball. Lots of velocity. But I think the thing that's most impressive is that he commands it so well. As a hitter, when you step in the box against him, you better be ready to swing it because it's coming, it's coming hot, and it's going to be in the zone. And now here is Ron Neal Reyes. That one's in there, 0 and 1. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. Yeah, there's a the ball. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Just one out away, try to close it out. They're down to their final strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. And he walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Jared Walsh getting ready to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Ball in one now. That's down and in. One ball, one strike. Kick, San Diego's. Right side. There's Hernandez handling the chance. And that'll do it. Always nice to win the home opener of the four game series. You know you got a lot of miles on the journey against that other team, but it all starts with the first game. You can set the tone, position yourselves, set up your bullpen, got everybody fresh and ready to go when you're in the driver's seat. We'll see if they can continue that momentum in tomorrow's game. And this one ends with a final score of six to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
the final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Boston Red Sox, six runs, six hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For Cleveland, four runs on ten hits, one error. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and ten minutes.